Kirk Franklin's new documentary is powerful. Two weeks ago, Kirk Franklin released a new documentary called Father's Day that is inspired by his new album that's coming out in October. The documentary chronicles Kirk Franklin's journey of forgiveness and restoration. So weeks prior, Kirk had been putting up these spotty Instagram posts that didn't really give a whole lot of context of him taking DNA swabs and it's in black and white and it looked real sad and gloomy. And we're like, my first thought was, do he got a baby on the way? Cause he's talking about some father there. I'm like, do he got a baby on the way? Did he find out that uh, <laughs> he had another kid? And, and 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 that's what this thing is talking about. Like, oh, he had another kid that he didn't know that was his, and he's taking DNA swab and all stuff. Cause that was my first thought, right? When it said father, that I'm like, oh crap, did, did he have a baby on the side? Did he did he cheat on his wife back in the day? And just now coming out or something like that. That's what I thought, right? But what it actually was was chronicling or talking about Kirk's journey to finding out who his real father was, right? Now, this has always been a sore spot for Kirk, as he's always talked about in his music and in interviews that Kirk, Kirk was adopted, right? He was adopted by uh, an older woman, um, and he had frequent encounters with his mom growing up, right? But his mom never, like, never took him in, things of that nature, so he was adopted by an older black lady. But, you know, recently, in recent years, uh, Kirk had put up a photo of him meeting the man who he thought that was his father, right? And I remember vividly seeing that post, right? And then remembering that the man had died, right? And Kirk had went through this process of grieving and forgiving this man who was his father, who I guess that man thought that he was his father and his mother thought that that man was his father and grieving this man just for just to find out that one of, I believe is one of his, uh, one of the people on his band or one of the singers that uh, he works with was at a, a funeral or at a function and the, the woman heard a man talking about how he used to date Kirk's mother back in the day, right? And then they started looking at the man and seeing his high in his face and his hands, et cetera, and then beginning to think, oh, is this man Kirk's father possibly? And then Kirk does a DNA test, that man does a DNA test, and Kirk gets the, this this phone call, and I'll show it in just a second. Kirk gets his phone call, and his reaction was crazy. <laughs> he said, my mama lied to me. When I, well, y'all, I was at work, and I was holding back tears. I was like, yo, this thing is deep, and this thing is triggering. Like, warning, too, trigger warning. If you got daddy issues, you got daddy issues, watch, watch, watch this video carefully. If you got daddy issues, this might bring up some stuff, right? Um, but he was like, my mama lied to me again. So, oh my God. Like it's just, he was very real and very raw and very emotional in, in this video. Right. And then he go, and then his mom gets in, into the picture. He meets, he meets, he has first time he's seen his mom in 20 some years and his mom's denying y'all. His mom is denying the fact that that man is his father after two paternity tests, right? And then there's another clip within the documentary where he's like, where she's like, if I don't admit to this, are you not going to allow me to be in your life? Something to that effect, right? And he's like, yes. Like, I'm not going to allow you to be in my life. Like, if you can't admit to this because he needs this closure, right? And she could not admit to it because she's just so blind to believe. And it's just like the science, the DNA, like, it's a, probably a good paternity test. Like, it's a good DNA test. They say that's his man's father, and she doesn't believe it, right? And she starts breaking down, crying, right? Um, so, overall, it was uh, just a, a very, very emotional documentary. The thing that hit home to me the most was, like, the last few uh, seconds of it, last couple minutes of it, where he starts trying to reconcile with his a strange son, right? And this a strange son is from the the guy who leaked the clip of Kirk saying, "I will break your neck. <laughs> I will break your neck. Don't you ever just dis- that 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 clip? That's from that son, right? Um, and he's uh he's reconciling with that son, and man, and he's like having a real like emotional intimate moment with his son sitting there talking to him looking at him and bro i about broke down cry, <laughs> cried at work right and the reason the reason being right 
the 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 reason why this Kirk doc was, I believe, like it was one, it was ten out of ten, right? But the reason why I believe this Kirk doc was so great for me was it shows Kirk's humanity. Kirk has always been a good, done a good job of showing his humanity. Like we've heard him curse before, we've heard him say nigga before, we've heard him say, you know, um. Uh, just we've heard him be real raw and transparent. Like I've heard him be real raw and transparent on like a Kev on stage interview one time. Like he's a real dude that has real problems and real emotions, but he loves Jesus, right? But he but he loves Jesus. And um this documentary really shows you uh, that side, that transparency side. Like you see him with anxiety, you see him having to deal with real relatives, and there's one clip where his aunt, and he always want to call her his aunt, and he says, Sandra, and she's like, who? And he's like, Aunt Sandra, and she's like, oh, okay, like, and, and having, and him being like, I didn't appreciate you doing that just now, like, he's showing real, like, stuff that we all go through in our everyday life, interacting with um, our families and things of that nature, right? But he just showed real humility, real, like, just realness, raw, and emotion of what it's like walking on this Christian journey and having problems, right? And still trying to see a light at the end of the tunnel, still trying to do work that glorifies God at the end of the day, but still going through real mess, right? And the one takeaway for me, I don't let you guys into my personal, personal space all too often, but I've said on this channel before, like my father's not in my life, right? So when I seen this documentary, like when I say, oh, some people who you have like who have daddy issues, like people who don't have their fathers in their lives or their fathers are gone or they never really had a good relationship with their fathers or they just don't know them for their fathers, period. This hits home because like deep down inside, there's still a little boy that did not have the validation that he had. So that he needed from a father figure and he's searching out to complete that puzzle, right? But for me, me not having my father in my life, the one thing that this um, motivated me to do is to, you know, warm up to trying to bridge the gap, right? Like I said, I don't, this, I don't have a relationship with my father and it's not because, oh, I'm mad at him or, or whatever, but it's like, he wasn't there. So, you know, and I'm 30, but I don't want to be 53 and, or however Kirk is, I think he's 53, 53, 54, 55. I don't want to be an old, old man and have already having had kids and that wound is not closed, right? Or there is no closure, right? And I don't want to get to 55 and my father not make it to not make it to 70s or 80s to be able to have a conversation with me or to be able to, if not build a relationship, at least bring closure and clarity to the wound that exists. Right. So that documentary definitely motivated me to stop, you know, like moseying around. And actually making strides and steps. And it's taking it one, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm warming up to the idea. I ain't all the way there yet. I'm warming up to the idea. But I'm definitely warming up to the idea a lot sooner than I was actually thinking about it. Because this documentary motivated me. So yeah, definitely go check out this documentary. That's just my review. My little, my, my little take on the documentary. I think it was well shot. It was well done. Um, I'm not really. I'm a, I'm a Kirk Franklin fan. Um, you know, but the albums, I don't really get into gospel like that, right? But I might actually listen to this album if it has any of the undertones dealing with, you know, father, uh, fatherlessness and abandonment and things of that nature. Um, things that I struggle with with the void of my father not being in my life. So I definitely might take a listen to this album, but it was definitely a well shot documentary. Um, the, 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 the transparency and the vulnerability that Kirk displayed is something that I hope to achieve with my content and being able to bring you guys behind the lens and being able to influence and encourage you guys to bridge some of those same gaps, if not just with your father, father, but just in your life with Christ and everything, right? So be sure to check out that documentary. Let me know your guy. Let me know your guys' thoughts in in the comments below of what you thought about the documentary. Your thoughts 
behind it, if it's motivating you any. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know below, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.